Hey guys, James here with Waterford Business Solutions, and we're going to continue talking about errors and issues on House Call Pro and their QuickBooks Sync errors. Today I'm going to talk about one that it's difficult for me to replicate because it comes and goes randomly, so I'm not going to have an example for you, but I am going to show you or talk with you about kind of what can cause it. <clears throat> so one error that we see happen a lot is called a business validation error. A business validation error can happen for several different reasons. The main reason that it can occur is going to be that the server is just so busy um, trying to push other things over that it just doesn't have the bandwidth to also push yours over. It's a simple fix. All we do is we hit reprocess, and I'd say 90% of the time it goes ahead and reprocesses without an issue because everything had calmed down. So I'll say probably 90% of the time a business validation error, just reprocess it and it's going to take care of itself. You can get business validation errors in other places. Um, and I'm going to talk about a few others later on, pr primarily from bank deposit errors. So when you're accepting credit cards and House Call Pro isn't able to do the bank deposit. But the primary business validation error is going to be from just the server being too busy or from your account not being connected correctly. Um, every once in a while you can disconnect your House Call Pro account from QuickBooks. You can do that through QuickBooks and it will throw a business validation error. Or if you've deleted an account that is necessary, something like that, then it can throw a business validation error or deleted a customer um, out of QuickBooks and House Call Pro isn't finding it, it can be a business validation error. So long story short on business validation errors, what it's really going to be is it's going to be either the server's too busy or you've deleted something that you shouldn't have deleted. Now most of the time when you delete something that you shouldn't have deleted, it's going to throw an error in there and actually tell you what that error is and explain what the issue is. Um, one that I'm going to give an example for is going to be in the bank deposit error um, video that I'll be doing because there's three things that we have to have for a bank deposit to work and if we don't have one of those three things, it'll throw that error. But the same thing works with customers. If you delete a customer out of QuickBooks, that is still being used in House Call Pro, it's very likely to throw that business validation error. And it's going to throw that business validation error because it can't validate that customer, it can't find that customer, it can't make that connection. Because in the past, you've already set up on the back end a connection between customer A in QuickBooks and customer A in House Call Pro. And so since you've made that connection and that connection is now severed, House Call Pro has no clue where to go. So the two things to take away from this video are going to be A, make sure that you aren't deleting things out of QuickBooks. Um, QuickBooks is a mirror of House Call. It should always be a mirror. The only thing you should delete out of QuickBooks is going to be a fake invoice. If you know that an invoice was incorrectly sent, that can be deleted. But don't be deleting customers, vendors, accounts, anything like that without knowing what the implications are going to be. Because those implications can be very large. And so be cautious with doing everything there. The other thing is, if you get a business validation error and it doesn't specifically say, hey, um, we had an issue creating this deposit, or this customer is missing, or this account is missing, or this product and service is missing. Because that's the three things that can cause a business validation error for missing stuff. Customers, accounts, and products. Um, if it doesn't say that, more than likely it's going to be the server timed out or the server was too busy. And so just reprocess. It's going to take care of itself. Everything will be good. And you can go back to your normal life. Sometimes business validation errors will need to be reprocessed a few times if they've um, occurred on multiple invoices. So if you ever see an error that's got like five or six invoices on it, if you reprocess it once and it doesn't do something, reprocess it five or six times and then it should go through because I've seen that happen plenty of times. So that's what a business validation error is. It's not really something straightforward 
but most of the time it's from something being deleted or from the server being busy. So avoid deleting things unless you know that you can delete them or just reprocess. If you need help or if you're having issues solving this, please don't hesitate to reach out to me with Waterford Business Solutions. Shoot us an email, give us a call, and we'll be happy to help you out there.